As a barrister, law professor, and the former Hong Kong chief prosecutor for over 12 years, how do you see the escalation of violence in Hong Kong? In the very recent times, Hong Kong is acquiring a reputation as a place which, is, uh, which has uh, a lawlessness uh, in some respects, uh, ongoing protests, all sorts of crime, uh, every type of crime, very grave crimes uh, are being committed on a, on a regular basis by extremists who are associated with the, the protest movement. Uh, and of course, that is damaging Hong Kong's reputation considerably, uh, and it is deterring a lot of tourists and conference organizers and other people from visiting Hong Kong because they no longer regard it as a safe place. It is a great shame for Hong Kong, which has a tradition of being welcoming to people not only from other parts of China, uh, but from around the world. How does the local police response compare to that of other countries internationally? One only has to look uh, at France, where the uh, Yellow Vest movement uh, is currently underway and has been going on for, for, uh, for several months. That has involved a lot of rioting, not only in Paris, uh, but around the country. Uh, and the police have used a great deal of force uh, in trying to contain it. They've used water cannons, they've used uh, stun grenades, they've used plastic bullets, they've used tear gas. Uh, and a lot of people have been injured. They, it's estimated that over 2,200 people uh, have been injured. So it's a far greater degree uh, of, uh, of, of force being used over there. And yet very little coverage is given to it. In the United Kingdom, for example, which of course is only 29 miles away from France, uh, I'm told that there's almost no mention of what's going on in, in the, nearby, in the, in the, in the neighboring country, whereas there's almost wall-to-wall -wall coverage of what's going on in Hong Kong, even though the level of force uh, is far less, and you can draw your own conclusions as to why that is. According to a report by World Justice Project, a US-based independent research organization, Hong Kong is ranked 16th in the world in terms of its rule of law. It's also ranked fourth worldwide in terms of order and security, and the crime rate is also one of the lowest in the world. Does this suggest that Hong Kong police are doing a very good job in maintaining law and order what does it mean for Hong Kong? The police uh, generally uh, take action only when it's absolutely necessary. They, uh, they put up signs before they mobilize, uh, urging the, uh, the rioters to disperse. Uh, and only when those signs are ignored do they finally uh, take action. So it's a matter of the, the rioters trying to provoke the police, and then eventually the police have to take action in order to try to control the situation. The police here are, are doing a superb job. Many of these are young officers who haven't had to confront these type of brutal attacks before. Uh, they're putting their lives on the line for us day in, day out. Uh, and we must all owe them uh, and acknowledge uh, the great uh, debt, debt of gratitude which we must all feel. We saw it, for example, when the, when the, pro, when the activists, the fanatics, uh, stole the personal details of 2,000 police officers and their families and then posted them online. This caused a great deal of dismay uh, and concern for many, many police families because their personal information was being abused in that way. Another example, of course, uh, arose on the night of uh, August 3rd, 4th, when uh, a mob actually went to the homes of the police officers when the, the, the families were there, the children were sleeping, uh, and they threw bricks and used lasers uh, at those premises in order to try to terrorize the police officers' families. Uh, and uh, so a psychological war is being mounted against them, in addition to the, the physical attacks which are, which are taking place uh, week in and week out. So it's a very, very difficult time for the, for the police. Even their children are sometimes being abused in the schools. So this is a terrible time for the police, and it's absolutely vital that everyone in Hong Kong not only recognizes this, but rallies around the police force at this very difficult time and gives them maximum support. The whole thing is obviously highly organized, uh, and uh, there are forces behind it who are using the protest uh, movement uh, to, to, to try to undermine uh, China itself. It takes a lot of money to, uh, to, to uh, supply all the equipment which is being used uh, in, these, in these demonstrations. When the bomb factory was found in Tin Su Wai uh, on, on the 1st of August, it contained about 30 uh, petrol bombs, but also found was uh, uh, approximately half a million dollars in cash. Uh, so there could be no doubt at all that there is a lot of money uh, behind this. Where is Hong Kong's future? And Hong Kong's future lies in being a responsible part of the nation uh, and in pulling its weight uh, and cooperating with the other parts of China. If it does that, it has a very bright future ahead. It's a great pity what you're doing to yourself, and it's the last thing that we want to see. But if you really do want to destroy yourselves, then sad though we are, so, it, so be it, if that's what you want to do.